The Saskatchewan Hospital, near the small prairie town of Weyburn, holds a remarkable yet little known story. Long abandoned, these rooms and halls were witness to a project far ahead of its time. Beginning in 1952, cutting edge psychiatric research used LSD to unlock the mysteries of human consciousness. LSD promised an entirely new approach to understanding the mind, an inward passage to our truer and richer selves. But a decade later, in the 1960s, LSD was used to fuel a cultural revolution, resulting in one of the most controversial periods in Canadian history. At the center of the storm were three doctors. Abram Hoffer, a native of Saskatchewan, gained an international reputation as Canada's preeminent LSD researcher. After taking LSD, I knew, quotation marks, what it was like to have been mentally ill. Humphrey Osmond, a free-thinking psychiatrist, became a cult figure in the world of psychedelics. For myself, these experiences have been most strange, most awesome, and in their own way, amongst the most beautiful in my life. And Duncan Blewett, a charismatic psychologist, was an early advocate for the personal use of LSD. The government uh, makes $11 million a year in Saskatchewan off liquor, they could double that off LSD without any trouble at all. Innovative work with LSD put Hoffer, Osmond, and Blewett at the forefront of a radical new science. But fear and hostility to psychedelic drugs made them victims of social and political forces beyond their control. From the depths of the human psyche to the center of political turmoil, this is the strange, true trip of the psychedelic pioneers. In 1920, when the Saskatchewan Hospital was built, a debilitating disease called schizophrenia had claimed millions of victims worldwide. Schizophrenics live in a world where thought patterns, emotions, and perceptions constantly shift, where nothing is stable. They filled hospital wards beyond capacity and seemed to be untreatable. In 1950, in London, England, a young psychiatrist named Humphrey Osmond was studying schizophrenia. With the creativity that would define his career, Osmond used a radical new approach. He began experimenting with mescaline, one of a group of hallucinogenic drugs that alter human perception. Uh, what happens, in fact, is that you do see the world in a different sort of way totally different, and you get the picture of a world as uh, one imagines the, uh, the great artists can sometimes see it. A world of, uh, of tremendously uh, uh, colour, of great significance, uh, of great beauty, but also at times of great terror. Osmond was convinced his mescaline-induced experience was similar to the inner world of the schizophrenic. He shocked the medical community by suggesting that schizophrenia might be a form of self-intoxication caused by the body mistakenly producing its own hallucinogenic compounds. This implied an entirely new line of psychiatric research. When his ideas were rejected by the English medical establishment, Osmond decided to leave London. 